で引くわけにはいかねえんだアカロットの言う通りだ俺は貴様に勝たねばならんのだ行くぞはあ大王剣がHey guys, what's up? So I'm just here to talk about the upcoming banner. We have Surpassing Endless Power, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku Kaioken, and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolution Vegeta. Uh, it has a leader skill, Desperate Struggle, which um, is kind of a wishy-washy um, category, I should say. Uh, it looks like it's just thrown together, to be totally honest with you. Um, it also has Joint Forces as well, um, the Kaelin Khalifla uh, leader skill. Uh, category key plus three, HP attack and defense 150%. Has uh, super attacks for 12 to 17 key, Destructo Disc and Gallic Gun. Or if you get 18 plus key, you get Kamehameha and Final Flash. Um, it greatly raises attack and defense on one turn, causes colossal damage to enemy and lowers attack. Greatly raises attack and defense one turn, causes mega colossal damage in, in, to enemy and lowers attack and defense. Uh, for the perspective, 12 to 17 and 18 plus keys. Uh, passive skill, um, not too bad. Attack and defense plus 70% plus an additional attack and, and defense plus 7% for key sphere obtained. Chance of performing a critical hit plus 7%. Key plus 2 and launches an additional attack up to 3 with each rainbow key sphere obtained. It's actually very, very good. Um, as far as the active skill goes, full spirit, full body release. So key plus 24, attack plus 70%, and defense minus 50% for one turn. Can be activated when HP is 50% or less once only. Okay, so you're going to get um, the 18 plus key super off, guaranteed, and you're going to increase your power, your attack by 70%. Um, now you are going to be a little bit uh, weaker, you're going to lose 50% defense, but, you know, this is like, I don't know, this this kind of sounds like a final trump card type thing, in my opinion. Um, it's like the final, the final stand almost, right? Desperate struggle. I mean, it all goes together, I suppose. But like if you if you use this active skill, it's probably going to be to take something out. So you're not going to expect to get hit in most cases. Um, in which case, that would probably wouldn't be too bad. Um, Link skills aren't bad. Super Saiyan, Godly Power, Warrior Gods, Kamehameha, Tournament of Power, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Pretty pretty good Link set. Um, and the categories that it can go on: Universal Survival Saga, the Saga, Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Representatives of Universe Seven, Joint Forces, Kamehameha, and Desperate Struggle. Uh, now it has great HP attack and defense stats, actually very very good HP attack and defense stats. Uh, at max you get 21,000 HP, 21,000 attack, and 14,000 defense. Um, like I said, this is a, a great unit. If you really 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 want this unit, then yeah I would go for it. But other than that, let's just go into the other unit. So the other unit that's new is the Krillin. Now this Krillin is actually not too bad at all. It's Trust in Technique and Experience Krillin. Representative of the Universe 7 category, key plus 3, HP and attack and defense 120%. Not bad. Super attack, 100 times solar flare. Causes supreme damage and lowers attack with a high chance of stunning the enemy. That's always good. Stuns are great. Um, passive skill. Attack and defense plus 180% and medium chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attack. Key plus 2 plus an additional attack and defense plus 120% when your team has Android 18 attacking in the same turn. Attacks effective against all types when the target enemy is stunned. So he's not going to be as tough without Android 18, but he's still going to have um, the 180% without Android 18 with Android 18. He gets another 120% attack and defense. Um, and key plus two as well. Uh, Link skills, experienced fighters, turtle school, solid support, brainiacs, courage, tournament of power, and fierce battle. Uh, pretty good uh, links to be honest. Um, tournament of power, uh, there's now they've, they've come out with enough units now, the tournament of power has plenty, and that is a, a key plus three I believe. Yeah, key plus three, so uh, that's, that's a lot of key. Um, for just a just a link skill at least. So categories, we've got Universal Survival Saga, Representatives of Universe 7, Earthlings, and Battle of Wits. 
Um, not too bad uh, stats. Uh, at max, you get about 12.3 thousand HP, you get about 13.5 thousand attack, and about 10,000 defense. Not too bad. Um, those are the two new units on the banner, so now let's just take a look at the actual banner itself. So here's the banner. This is what it was like on the JP side, so we're speculating this is what it's going to be like on the global side as well. There is speculation that the Beerus may be taken out since it was previously out on global side. So what we have, obviously we have the Krillin, we have the Blue Bros, we have, well not bros, but blue boys. I don't know what you want to call them. Whatever you want to call them. Super Saiyan Blues. Um, you've got the Beerus. You've got Gobros. You've got uh, the transforming Vegeta and Goku here. You've got the evolution Vegeta, Jiren, uh, UI Goku. Um, and you have the angel Int Frieza. Um, then you obviously have all this fodder that no one cares at all about. For me personally, I think I might do a multi or two on this banner. Reason being is, um, I've recently come back to the game. Uh, I don't have my main account anymore. I started my account over, so therefore, all of these units are very useful to me as far as the SSR ups go. So, you know, from, from this Frieza all the way up to Krillin, I would be happy to pull any of these personally because I do not have them anymore. My main account is gone. You know, I'm starting over. It is what it is. Now, if you're a veteran player, you have a crazy account, you know, you've got lots of units you've been playing, you know, since the beginning, you've played since the first, second anniversary even, um, you should have all of these units that have been reoccurring on this banner. So, in that case, unless you really, really, really want this new LR, I would say don't summon. Um, there's actually a better variant of this banner coming out not too far after this, the Tanabata. And it looks a little something along the lines of this here. So not only do you get uh, the Blue Boys here, but you also get the Super Saiyan Blue, Vegito, and Gogeta. You get AGL Zamasu, you get Tech Trunks, you still get GoBros as well. Um, these two units are a little bit old, the Strength Rose and the Tech Vegito. Um, they are a little old, but I look for in the future for them to get an easy A. I don't know when that will be. That may be years to come, but they will get an easy A. And if you don't already have them, then obviously they're great pools. Um, you're going to get the strength and agility Super Saiyan 4s here, the original Super Saiyan 4s. Now, those will probably get an easy A very soon, and I look for them to be very powerful once they get those. Uh, you have the uh, Int Kid Boo, who has a decent easy A. Actually, pretty good EZA. Um, Fizz Goku Black, great EZA. Um, one of the best EZAs, I believe, is the Tech Golden Frieza. And he is on this banner. Um, the Broly, Fizz Broly. All these units have EZAs, so they're all solid units once you max them out. Um, now, this banner, in my opinion, obviously there is more. There's a, there's a lower chance you're going to get them. With that being said, though, the, the top, like what? Like, other than this Broly, the top row and a half I would be happy to get like from the Krillin down to the tech uh, Vegito blue here if I pull any of those I would be happy and there's four LRs on this banner you got GoBros you got the blue Vegito and blue Gogeta and you have the blue boys so I mean to me it's a no-brainer to wait if you're good if you want these guys at least wait until this banner so if you don't get them you probably pulled something decent Whereas, if you summon from this banner, uh, there's not as many good pulls here, I don't think. I think if I was going to pull for them, I would pull for them uh, on this banner. That's just my opinion. Now, if you want to go crazy and wail on both banners, be my guest. That's that's all of you. Uh, from uh, a saving standpoint, though, if you really want them, then pull them on this banner, in my opinion. So, if you don't want these units here, then... There is another good card coming out very soon. It's the Tech Jiren. Let me see if I can pull that up real quick. So this banner came out shortly after the Tanabata, or shortly after not the Tanabata, but shortly after the uh, the Blue Boys um, banner was out. And here's what we have. Um, pretty solid, other than the Bodomageta and Frost. I think this is solid. Um, 
All these units are good in their own ways. Uh, obviously, this Jiren is absolutely ridiculous. Now, it's uh, a little ways away, and I know sometimes it's hard to save, but uh, this is a great unit. Um, this Whis is amazing. Uh, what else we got in here? Uh, the new uh, Topo is pretty good. The Easy A for the Strength Topo is great. Uh, the AGL Skinny Boo got an Awakening, and he's pretty good now. Um, obviously, you got Bergamo. He is a great defensive unit. Um, you got the physical Goku, who is like a nuker, and he hits pretty hard with his awakening. All these units that are actually really good on this banner, and it can be useful other than, like I said, the Bodomageta and the Frost. Uh, this banner is solid, and I, I would say that this banner is better than the Blue Boys banner. So if you're wanting a, you know, a hard-hitting unit, and you can wait. I'd go for for this uh, this Jiren for sure, because there's not much fodder in there with him. Whereas on this banner, I think that there is. These are these are just old units. Now, I mean, they're not horrible at all. Like they're actually good units. They're just old units, and they're gonna be you know kind of tossed aside sooner rather than later. There's just better versions. Like there's a better Angel Freezer now that's out now. Obviously, the LR Jiren is better than the Strength Jiren. I think you can run them together. Don't I don't remember. It's on JP still and not on Global, so I haven't really looked into it too much. You might be able to run them together. I'm not sure. Um, this UI Goku is getting weaker, and his transformation isn't even that great, to be honest with you. Um, Evolution Vegeta is still a good card. Still a good card. But um, there's, there's better choices for a team. We got the Transforming Vegeta and the Transforming Goku. I think the Transforming Vegeta is actually a better unit overall. Basically, the play has the leader skill, but uh, and he does hit a little harder, in my opinion. But other than that, uh, yeah, there's just these four really, and I'm not a big fan of Krillin. Uh, the unit isn't bad at all, but he requires to get full potential in Android 18, which I don't ever want to run on my team. Uh, yeah, I just don't see this banner being a thing. I think if you're wanting to summon on banner, I think I would wait until Jiren personally. That's what I'm going to try to do. I may summon a, a couple Maltese on here or the Tanabata. Uh, I haven't quite made up my mind yet, but um, as far as spending lots of stones, I would not throw them into this banner. I would at least wait to Tanabata, and if not then, um, then maybe go to the Jiren banner. And with all that being said, though, with all that being said, Christmas is right around the corner. They're going to have step-up summons. They do every year. And with those step-up summons, you're going to have guaranteed... Uh, featured uh, SSRs, you're going to have LRs, um, just a lot of stuff, and I don't know how many times they're going to let you do the step up, but I think that that would be a much better choice. I think if I was going to spend all my stones in one place, it would be step up banner, uh, and they'll probably have something else along with that, uh, maybe just the Tanabata, I don't know. Um, they may do tickets, who knows, for the Tanabata, I don't know, but um, as far as just straightforward thinking, I think Step Up Banner and the Jiren Banner. I think that's where I'd spend um, my stones. That's just my two cents. Alright guys, with that being said, those are my thoughts on the upcoming banners. Um, I do believe, like I said, just to you know summarize everything I just talked about, I would pass on the Blue Boys Banner this upcoming, this one here on the screen now. If you want to get them, I would wait until the Tanabata banner where you have much better units supporting this unit in the banner itself. And if you don't want to do that and you want to wait even further uh, for you know a top tier unit, then you can wait until the Jiren banner here. That being said, if you don't want to spend anything on any of these banners at all, I highly, highly, highly recommend you do the Step Up banner during Christmas. Uh, it's definitely your best value. And you're going to get an LR guaranteed. You're going to get a, a summonable uh, LR guaranteed. You're going to get a uh, token exclusive. It's just much better. Much, much better. But with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll be back again soon with another video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to go down there and hit that like button. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace out, guys.